another beautiful day here in Broad and Patterson. It is your boy, Missy Miz, Coop Cat Connor of the UT representing Burns. <sighs> I gotta do, wait four months just to get in there. I already purchased my ticket for the home opener right in that bad, beautiful thing right in there against the Minnesota Vikings. So that's one down, three to go. Dallas, Doug Peterson's return, and either Washington or Green Bay. Those are the three games left for me to get when the tickets go on sale. After the schedule gets released this Thursday, 8 o'clock. It's a beautiful day at the link, y'all. Breathe this in. Breathe this in. Breathe this in. Man. My expectation for this team is basically this. Win the division. Go to the playoffs. Win a playoff game. And then we'll see what happens. That's my expectation for this team. That's my expectation. Because your schedule, your opponents, and the NFC East all basically says, I'm not going to make my prediction just yet. But it says what I'm thinking. I'll make my prediction on the Birds of Broad Street, on Bird Talk with Cool Cat, and MK Mitch. I'll make my pre prediction. Then I'll make my other prediction after preseason. Y'all know. But this schedule, opponents, and the NFC East basically says more than nine wins. More than nine wins. Because my expectation for this team is more than nine wins. My expectation for Jalen Hurts is basically this. Be a better quarterback and win the division. And if you got to win a playoff game, to stamp your name in the QB of the future of my team, do it. Do it. That's my expectation for Jalen Hurst. Win a playoff game, win the division, be better at quarterback. Expectation for the team, dominate. Dominate. Win more than nine games. Win more than nine games. Simple. Win more than nine games. That's it. Win more than nine games. The opponents that you had this year, because the schedule ain't released until Thursday, 8 o'clock, but your opponent says more than nine games. Your division says more than nine games. That's what it says. Your opponent for the 2022 season along with your NFC East division basically says more than nine games. I'm not I'm not predicting nothing yet, but it says more than nine games. That's what it says. That's what it says. That's what it says. So Jalen Hurts, Nick Sirianni, I need a good game plan. Whoever we face week one, Whoever we face week one, the expectation of this city after going to the playoffs last year when no one thought you could, the expectation of this city is more than nine wins. More than nine wins. Basically, uh, the expectation is uh, can you do it again? But this time win the division. When the Cowboys are going down here, and we're potentially going up there. Simple. 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 How hard is that? 
hard is it to win more than nine games? It shouldn't. It shouldn't be hard to win nine games. And I get it. Any given Sunday. Any given Sunday. We lost to the Giants last year. Any given Sunday. You don't know what the team's going to be in May. I get it. Still, more than nine wins. More than nine wins. You're not facing Tom Brady. You're not facing Patrick Mahomes. You're not facing the A AFC West. More than nine games. That's my expectation for this team. More than nine games. If you lose any of these games that go below nine wins, then something got to be done. Something got to be done. Simple. It's simple. More than nine wins. More than the Dallas Cowboys, to be honest with you. So that's my expectation. More than nine wins. Jalen Hurts be better at quarterback and stamp your name as the future quarterback of the Philadelphia Eagles. That is my expectation as we head to September 11th. To the home opener against the Vikings. As always, y'all. Fly, go fly. Go, birds. See you next time.